Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, two squares uh, lined up as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, the area of this uh, blue square is uh, 49 centimeters square whereas the area for this uh, yellow square is uh, 9 centimeters square. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it uh, very clear that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue square whose area has been given to us as uh, 49. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length uh, of the square. And in our case, the area is uh, 49. So therefore, 49 could be written as 7 whole square. So therefore, the side length of this blue square is going to be 7. That means this side length is 7, this one 7, 7, and 7 across the board. And now let's focus on this yellow square whose area has been given to us as 9. So therefore, according to this square formula, 9 could be written as 3, square so therefore the side length uh, of uh, this uh, yellow square is going to be three 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 and three across the board and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, two triangles and we know both of these are right triangles since this angle is uh, 90 degrees and likewise uh, this angle is 90 degrees as well let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, tiny triangle as our uh, triangle number one and this as our triangle uh, number two. And we know that the side length uh, of this uh, right triangle is uh, seven and the side length uh, of uh, this uh, tiny triangle uh, is uh, three over here. Now let's assume that this uh, side length of this uh, triangle is uh, x whereas the side length of this uh, tiny triangle is uh, y. And now let's focus on these uh, two shaded triangles. We can see that this angle is congruent to this angle since they are our vertical angles. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle one and this uh, triangle two, they are uh, similar triangles according to angle, angle similarity theorem. So therefore, we are going to have a proportions. Let's focus on this uh, tiny triangle. Its uh, ratio is y divided by 3 equals to the ratio on this uh, triangle is going to be 7 divided by x. Now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So therefore, we are going to get uh, x times y turns out to be 3 times 7 is 21. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, green shaded triangle. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And in our case, the base of this uh, green shaded triangle is uh, x. And this uh, y is the height uh, of this uh, green shaded triangle. So therefore the area I'm going to represent it by a of this uh, green shaded triangle is going to be a half times our base is x times our height is y. So that is going to become x times y divided by 2. But we know our x times y value is 21. So therefore I'm going to replace this uh, xy value by 21. So therefore I can write this one as 21 divided by 2 and that is going to be equal to 10.5 centimeter square and that's the area of this uh, green shaded triangle. So that's the area of this uh, green shaded triangle turns out to be 10.5 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.